Vietnam just says that even if the Jews would have overturned, still the Shekhinah wouldn't have come back. But even Rabbi Yechanan holds that everyone should have come back. But, so there's no debate about that between Rabbi Yechanan and Rish Lakish. Okay. Now, oh, I just want to give you two more sources about this, about this idea that the Babylonians, the people in Babylon, were faulted for not coming back to Baishani. There's the Mishnah in Yuma that says that when the clan Gadol would take out the son of Mishtaleach, they made a ramp for him to protect him from the Babli in who would pull his hair. Now, um, and additionally, there's another place where, the, where there's a mission that says Bavliim were bad people. There's a mission in the Nachas that talks about the Bavliim would eat the Asar when it's raw. It's interesting, actually, that they're both about the two Seirim, Rav and Kippur. But anyways, so in both places, the Gemara says that actually, these people who did this, who did these nasty stuff, these, these barbaric kind of things, uncivilized kind of things, were not Bavliim. But they people they called them Bavliim because because they hated the Bavliim. They touched the Sinem as a Bavliim. They called them Bavliim. Why they hate Bavliim? What is this business? The mission you know, the mission uses this ethnic term Bavliim in a pejorative way about people who actually weren't Bavliim because there's this Bavli hatred. Why do they hate Bavliim? What business is that? What, what, what's that all about? It says Tosis and another stuff called that they hated the Bavliim because. Because the Bavli didn't come back to meet Ezra. So there was this Bavli hatred. There was this Bavli hatred because the, the Bavli were at fault or did something wrong by not coming back to Ezra's role in the Tukuba by Hashem. Okay? So that's really, really important. Um, that you have all these Bavli and this, this idea in the Gemara, numerous places explicitly in the Gemara, that the Bavli and in the Midrash, that the Bavli were wrong for not coming back. Everyone should have come back. Okay. What we want to talk about now is let's focus on the other side of the coin. That, and this is really not so known, that is actually a shita. There was a, 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 a complete shita that people should stay behind in Babel. And how do I know that? I'm going to prove it to you in, in two ways. First of all, as we started with, there were all these chacham and gedolim in Babel. So just because the Gemara articulates a shita, of against them, like they should have come back, doesn't mean there's no alternative opinion. Basically, another way to say that is, if you have 